morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark McGregor and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2012 model Mitsubishi Triton GLX Ute this morning. We'll start off at the front of the car and uh, notice just a few minor little stone chips have been touched up. Um, consistent obviously with its age being a 2012 but overall presentation at the front of the car is very good. As we move around to the driver's side we've got the um, the wheels just tilted slightly to the left so we can get a good idea of the uh, tread on the tyres. Really good tread. Um, we've got our distinctive chrome badging on our driver's door just to indicate it is a 4x4 this particular car. And as we scan down along the driver's side of the car, you've got to be impressed with the presentation of the paintwork and the body. No, no real dints or scratches. A couple of minor touch-ups just on the edge of our right-hand rear door. A little bit of paint flaking just on the uh, front mudguard fitted with an aluminium fleet, fleet trades uh, tray um, and also got the full setup of the ladder racks as well. So uh, certainly, you know, if you're a tradie looking to use it, throw the ladders and everything on, it's, it's rigged up, ready to go. We'll notice at the back of the cab there, um, there's a little bit of wear, just obviously where something's rubbed up against it previously. Um, probably had a bit of a crack at polishing a lot of that out. Um, but like to just highlight that as well. Other thing to notice at the rear of the car, it is fitted with a Heyman Reese tow pack, so it does give us the ability to tow three tonne if needed. Um, so it certainly has the scope to, to tow anything that we want to. Um, as we come down the side, the, the passenger side of the car, uh, once again, uh, tyres consistent all around the car, plenty of tread, and the appearance of the actual Juco. Um, and the bodywork, once again consistent. Not really any touch-ups or marks that I can see on this side of the car. Um, so the overall exterior presentation is extremely good. Back around at the front of the car, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance, uh, but also the outstanding economy that you're going to get out of the Triton. So powered by a two and a half litre turbo diesel motor, direct injection motor, going to give us 9.3 litres combined per 100 k, so really good fuel consumption. 130, kilo, 130 kilowatts of power, 350 newton metres of torque. As we mentioned earlier, 4x4 four four and 3 tonne towing, so certainly got the power behind you to do whatever you need it to do. So here we are inside the GLX Triton now, and we'll just run through all the features of the car, paying attention to how well it actually presents and the way it's been looked after. On our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches. Directly up in front of that, our power mirror switches. Stability control button to our left-hand side there. Moving to the steering wheel, you notice it is height adjustable. So we can set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable and just push that lever back into place to lock it away. Uh, on our right-hand side of our steering wheel, we've got our cruise control settings. A little bit of cosmetic wear just on the edge, consistent with where you do grip the steering wheel. Down below to the left, uh, we do have uh, electric brakes uh, just on our side there as well. So already added to the car previously. Moving into the center section now, we've got our double DIN head unit. So AM, FM radio, CD player, MP3 compatible, and our auxiliary and USB inputs there as well at the bottom. Does incorporate the Bluetooth in the head unit. Below that, we've got our heating and cooling controls and a little storage compartment there as well. 12 volt outlet right down the bottom there. And then of course our T-Bar Auto with our four x four lever next to us. I've just got a plastic cover on the seat because it's just come back from the detailers, so a little bit damp. Cup holders directly behind our T-Bar, handbrake to our right hand side. And then a good little storage compartment in here as well with an additional 12 volt outlet there also. Um, we'll have a bit of a scan around the interior and just look at the way the, uh, not only the seats and the carpets, but even the door trims themselves, the way the car presents is, is probably a credit to the previous owner. This car was originally bought from us, brand new, um, back in 2012, the 3rd of September 2012, um, so I think it was traded in on a brand new car. Uh, the initial first couple of services were done by ourselves and then the client opted to get their local mechanic to do all the services but you do note that um, servicing's been carried out at the correct intervals all the way through 
Um, currently 137,000 k's this car. Important to note that the timing belts were done at 123,000 k's as well. Um, recently front brake pads added to the car also. So uh, the way it's been maintained so far in its life is outstanding. So just in summary, a really impressive example of a 2012 model GLX Triton. Fully decked out with the ladder racks, three tonne towing, 9.3 litres combined per 100 k's, good fuel economy, over 800 k's to a tank of diesel, 131 kilowatts of power, 350 newton metres of torque, four star ANCAP safety rating. So she's rigged up, ready to go. Give us a call on 99070 555 and one of us will be able to help you further.